Hello and welcome to Smart Poker Study. Thanks for spending some of your study time with me. So I'm really excited about today's episode because I get to share with you an article from Alex Fitzgerald over at PokerHeadRush.com. The article is called How to Win $20 to $50 Tournaments. And for all of you tournament players, for those of you who want to start making a nice side income from poker, this is the article for you. And you are going to enjoy it. He actually gave me permission to share it with you on the podcast. So I'm going to read it word for word in just a little bit. Now, this article, it's related to his course called How to Final Table the $50,000 Guaranteed. And he gave us an offer code to save $250 just for my audience. Save $250 off of the course. So go to smartpokerstudy.com slash 50K guarantee. That's one word. 50k guarantee and use offer code 2022 summer sale for $250 off. Now, all this information you can also find in the show notes page for today, smartpokerstudy.com slash pod 404. Go there right now to read this entire article as you listen to me speak it and also get all the links and that code to save $250 off of his course, How to Final Table the $50,000 guaranteed. And one last thing you have to do it. I got this article because I am a member of the Poker Head Rush newsletter. This is Alex Fitzgerald's daily newsletter where he sends out either strategy article uh, via text or even a free video for you every single day. So go to pokerheadrush.com and then click that orange subscribe to newsletter button. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. Gambate! Everybody just stay calm. I can handle this, no problem. I know how to deal. License and registration, please. What seems to be the officer problem? How do you win $20 to $50 tournaments? It's important you learn the answer to this question. Many people assume pros make all their money from the big tournament wins. That could not be further from the truth. The big tournament wins are nice, but they come around infrequently. Many tournament professionals pay their bills in the meantime through small tournament wins. When I went pro at 18, I was supporting my family off of $50 tournaments. Why are these tournaments so profitable? The prizes are in the thousands, and sometimes tens of thousands, but many players don't take them seriously. You can pick up a ton of chips early that will propel you to bigger and bigger paydays. Today, we will discuss some of the quickest gains you can get in these tournaments. Follow these tips, and you'll start making more money in $20 and $50 events. Here's the first tip. Figure out who is there for fun and kill them. Send them to the afterlife. In all seriousness, there are tons of poker players who enter these tournaments as a goof. They're sports betting and bored. They want something else to do while football is on. They want to amass a ton of chips or get out of there. The money means nothing to them. I love playing with these players and seeing that regs aren't paying attention to them. That happens often because poker players always play too many damn tables online. Live, they're always on their cell phones, punting equity away too. If you have a guy who wants to see every flop, then let him do so. If a grinder opens, then just flat in position to allow the weak player behind you into the pot. If you open, make it easier for the recreational player to call. Triple barrel your second pairs versus these weak players. You will often find that they will call three streets with any pair or any two big and pretty high cards that still look pretty. One quick note. Even decent players will play bad when they're in the big blind. Disciplined guys in $20 tournaments suddenly turn into morons when they call with half of their hands versus a raise from the big blind. They never bluff enough post-flop. They call down with any pair. And they have tons of bad pairs when they call with that many bad hands pre-flop. Exploit this. Here's the second tip. Figure out who is a bad reg and make their life miserable. I was a nut peddling tournament nit for years. Let me tell you a secret. The way I made my money was massively multi-tabling. I put in massive volume and moved stacks around when it was appropriate. I made my money playing tight and waiting for the pressure to make other players freak out. People get exhausted in tournaments. It happens all the time. 
A guy would be playing well, and suddenly he would lose it. I'd call with my great starting hand and build my stack. I could get away with this style because at the time, my bills were lower and I had nothing better to do than play poker 60 or more hours a week. Many players you play against in these tournaments are just like this. You can wreck them. But how do you do this? Imagine playing tons of tables. You have a couple of seconds for each decision. At some point, you have to trim the fat. But how do you do that? You play a solid style. If anyone takes a bizarre line, you don't spend 30 seconds thinking about it. You don't have that kind of time. You make some key assumptions. These low-limit grinders make one key assumption that is right most of the time, and that is that weak players tend to have a big hand when they finally wake up and take a weird line. If a grinder is playing $20 to $50 tournaments, then they're often dealing with guys who never fold. That doesn't necessarily mean they are aggressive. Their opponents do the same thing constantly. They see too many flops, and then when they hit something, they try to build a big pot. They just don't bluff enough. The way you will exploit regs who see this loose passive nut peddling all day every day is to spam them with weird bets. Bring out every exploitative trick you have. Donk lead when you think the board missed them and you have some developing equity that you can barrel on the turn. Check raise them on hit or miss boards. Overbet the pot when they've capped their range. Make their life miserable. They will fold more often than not. Also, focus on spots where their assumptions can be exploited. Call out of the big blind with big pairs and big aces, for instance. When you check-raise a top pair with a great kicker on the flop, or an over-pair, they'll never believe you, because they would have always 3-bet those hands. Prepare for them to call down with goofy hands. Tip number three. Figure out who is a good player and stay away from them. There will be excellent tournament players in these games as well. They'll be playing tight as they focus on their bigger events. They'll keep these tournaments on the back burner in case all their other big events go to hell. This is how they save their ass on many Sundays. Avoid these players like the plague. When they open, they likely have a good range that they know how to handle. Just because they play higher doesn't mean they're exploiting you. They likely don't have the time to work on big bluffs with you in a $55 event on a Sunday. Here's tip four. Get as much experience winning as possible. These are the events where people start worrying about prize money. This gives you a unique opportunity at final tables. This is the first buy-in level where people will start folding to you. If a guy seems to care about the payout jumps, then spot situations where he capped his range and triple barrel him at the final table. If there's a medium stack at your final table who opens when there's a bunch of short stacks who are about to bust, then 3-bet him. Push people around. Learn what works and what doesn't. This is the time to get valuable final table experience with pressure poker, especially if the prize pool is not enough to change your life. And here's tip number five. Use flight simulators. You're not going to learn how to destroy these tournaments by spending five minutes reading an article. You need a flight simulator. In flight school, there are classroom-style lessons. Then there are flight simulators. Then you go up in the air with an instructor. Then you do everything on your own. You've seen my classroom-style lesson packs get advertised on this list before, but did you know I also put together flight simulators? I can't sit with you at the final table and guide you, but I can put you through rigorous timed testing that I created myself. This is how you can prepare to go play yourself. For a limited time, you can get How to Final Table the $50,000 Guaranteed on sale for just $49. This saves you $250. Go to smartpokerstudy.com slash 50K Guarantee. That's 50K Guarantee. And use code 2022 Summer Sale to save $250 on this course. Alrighty, your learning is not complete until you go to the show notes page, smartpokerstudy.com slash pod 404. When you go there, you'll find links to everything we discussed today. Alex's course, How to Final Table the 50K Guarantee. Make sure you use offer code 2022 summer sale to save $250. Also, the link to pokerheadrush.com is right there where you can go click that orange button and sign up for Alex's newsletter. 
Until next time, take action both on and off the felt to become the player that you want to be.